friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a posterior subcapsular cataract let us observe management of this case this is a totally unedited recording from this point this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at around 11 o'clock and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber and a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And now, capsular axis. With the help of a uterator forceps, capsular axis is done. The anti-capsule is pierced at the center. A capsular tag is raised and this capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around and an adequate size trixis of about 5.25 millimeter is done. Now hydrodissection is done with the help of this 27 gauze cannula and BSS. Hydrodelineation is also done. We have got a nice golden ring in this case. Again some visco in the anterior chamber and now I am going to divide this nucleus with the help of this pre-chopper. The pre-chopper goes in, the sustainer goes to the opposite equator, the two instruments come to each other and the nucleus is divided into two heminuclei. On heminucleus is subdivided into two pieces, rotate and divide the other heminucleus into another two pieces. So we have got four pieces in a very short time. This is a very useful instrument designed by Dr. Sohil Irfan Khan of Nandit, Maharashtra, India. You can design your own pre-chopper. Pre-chopping is very much useful in soft cataracts because you cannot hold the nuclear mass. You can devise other techniques like mechanical chop, carousel, but this is easy and you can make a small rexis, about 5 millimeter rexis, divide the nucleus in the capsular bag. You don't have to prolapse the nucleus out of the capsular bag and manage the pieces very easily. See how easy it is to pick up the nuclear pieces and emulsify them once you have divided the nucleus into four pieces or even three pieces. Just divide into two heminuclei and divide on heminucleus into two fragments and come out. Even then you can manage the nucleus very easily. Now some more visco and we have to remove the cortex. We can use a coaxial irrigation aspiration but a Simco is quite good. Simco is very safe. The control is in your hand, the control is not, your, not in your feet. And we have removed cortex from 1 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Go through this side port. This side port is little larger than usual. It is about 6, 1.6 to 1.8 millimeter. But you have only one side port. Don't need another side port to manage such cases. And if a larger side port is 3 o'clock hours away from the main incision, Astigmatism induced by the main incision is neutralized to some extent by the side port. If the side port is large and 90 degree away. The posterior capsule is polished by irrigation and now a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. The capsular bag is filled up with 2% HPMC. And here goes the intraocular lens. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic also goes into the capsular bag. This is Hoya Nanix, beautiful lens. The cartridge is very thin, it goes through 2.2 millimeter and easily it goes through 2.8 into the middle of the anterior chamber. And now we just have to remove the 
visco that we have used for implantation of the intraocular lens. The visco from entry chamber is removed. Now I go into the capsular bag, irrigate some fluid. By irrigation, lot of visco comes out. Now, once your irrigating fluid is over, you start aspirating. So, by the Simco itself, we have removed lot of visco. And now, I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration. I am very thorough with removal of visco. because if visco is retained behind the intraocular lens, there can be increased intraocular pressure in the postoperative period. To avoid that, to avoid visco induced rise of intraocular pressure, we must remove the visco very nicely. It is done and now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma with BSS. And then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. The anterior chamber is formed very nicely the intraocular lens is centered and then with the same core the chamber is formed, intraocular pressure is filled, the integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. In soft cataracts, you can design your own pre-chopper or you can have it from Dr. Suhail Irfan Khan. I have no financial interest, but you must have this instrument in your surgical armamentarium to empower you to manage soft cataracts with extreme confidence.